do you buy a regular Mini or do you buy a Mini X? There are now two options available. Uh, the original Mini has been around for a few years now. Uh, arguably one of the best, most portable rests out there. Uh, but it's not without its things that people have always wished for, which has led to, you know, any number of inventions that people have sold as accessories. And Seb has now incorporated a lot of those into a new Mini X. So let me start over here with a regular Mini. And this one does have some accessories on it that I'm going to show you, but you'll get the idea of what you're getting for a regular Mini. So the, the original Mini here has the sandbag top. It is just a one-piece bag. It's held uh, on the sides by these ears that are adjustable. There's a small little level. It's, it is, you know, admittedly a little hard to read, especially when it guns over it. Uh, you have a front four-end stop and that is just adjustable to three spaces. You usually have to angle it to the side like this or else your barrel might hit it. So this way it stops. And the legs are adjustable by way of this, um, by these, and then the elevation by the Mariner wheel. However, uh, in the past, if you were trying to run the gun flat, that was not a problem with a Mini. But if you ended up in a situation where you had any kind of serious angle to the legs, then your, uh, your feet are driving at a severe angle into the ground, and that doesn't make for a very stable platform. So this one happens to have an aftermarket accessory on it that allows you to uh, angle that if you want to. So you can, you, know, you can fold it, and that gives you a little bit more drive into the ground depending on um, you know, the angle that you're at. And those have been very popular. One of the downsides to these accessories though is that you can see compared to a normal mini height, which this one is, you do gain you know, three, four inches or so uh, because you are uh, adding length down here. So that is a normal mini. Uh, and like I said, they're great. I mean, there's, there's nothing wrong with shooting off of one. However, now that the mini X is out, a lot of people are saying, well, you know, is it worth buying a regular mini, which Seb is still making and it's a very good value at, um, you know, it's 800 something right now. Uh, who knows when you're watching this video, but uh, the Mini X is, you know, anywhere two, $300 more depending on the size of the top that you order. So a lot of people don't know what to do. Well, here's what I'm gonna say. The Mini X incorporates a lot of great things that make it fantastic for the competitor. One is the Neo style top compared to the sandbag that we have here. So here we've got just the sandbag. Here we have the Neo top, and that means that you can now loosen this and adjust in and out for your four end stop. And it is a true three piece bag that allows for adjustment from the side. It's a little more subtle on the pressure compared to uh, pushing in on these ears here. He also has his upgraded four end stop, which can be moved you know, infinitely between here and it's dished out so that it stops properly without interfering with your barrel. Same Mariner wheel, same adjustments for the legs. However, check this out. So he has incorporated a, lev a leveling system into the leg without having to add extra length. And this really works out great. Um, same screws, you can use your same F-Class feet that if you've got them, and the lever just locks it down into whatever position that you want. So this is great for guys that travel a lot, don't know what terrain they're gonna be on, might wanna be able to make adjustments quickly to level those feet out. And that's really what you're getting. The handles are essentially the same. Uh, you can see here, the only difference is he now uses a textured ball instead of a smooth ball. Uh, this handle happens to be just a hair longer, but you can get these in different lengths um, from the US or your international distributor. But, you know, just quick and simple, there's what you're looking at if you're trying to make the decision here between a Mini or a Mini X. Uh, as of today, uh, which is, you know, May of 2021, uh, Minis are in stock. You can literally order these and have them shipped out in the next day or two. Mini X's are back ordered, you know, anywhere from six to nine months, uh, you know, and it fluctuates obviously. So another consideration, if you are a casual shooter and you are looking for an upgraded front rest, I would say the Mini is a great choice. There is nothing wrong with it. You can always upgrade parts on it later. 
Uh, it does a fantastic job and countless championships have been won on a standard mini. However, if you are a competitor and if you are looking for a little bit of an edge, if you are looking for the ability to set up a little faster, have a little more control over how your stock is handled, I would say the Mini X is probably a better choice. So, um, you know, there you go. That's your two choices. Hope this helps you make a decision.